Inside Science TV. Viruses. They're too tiny for us to see, yet they're lurking everywhere. And guess what? They spread really fast through an office environment. People don't realize they easily spread by your hands, uh, touching surfaces on which they're contaminated all the time. Most people think, you know, you sneeze, you cough, that's how you get it and you inhale somebody. No, it really, it's when those droplets settle out and you touch that surface, then that virus, which you can't see, you bring your fingers to your nose, mouth, or eye. Microbiologist Charles Gerba at the University of Arizona knows a lot about germs, bacteria, and viruses. And he found that a single germ-covered doorknob can help spread a virus, like the flu, throughout an office building in just a few hours. And we found out that within four hours, over half the commonly touched surface had the virus on it, and half the people in the office building had the virus on their hands. Using a harmless virus, researchers purposely put samples of it on surfaces like doorknobs and tabletops. Then, a few hours later, they tested different places in a building, like cell phones, computers, and desks. The virus had traveled and had been picked up by 40 to 60 percent of people in the building. First place contaminated was the break room. First object contaminated was the coffee pot handle. What's the first thing you do in the morning? You go get a cup of coffee. Surprisingly, this is the least contaminated place in the building at first. Safest place to be in the office for the first two hours is the restroom uh, because that it was contaminated much later. Fortunately, there's an easy solution to the infectious germ problem. Researchers stress that hand washing, along with disinfecting wipes and gels, can reduce spreading a virus by 80 to 90 percent. Number one thing is what your mother always told you, wash your hands and use a hand sanitizer when you can. So listen to your mom. She was right. This is Inside Science TV. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.